Hey guys, hope you're all doing a lot better than I am at the moment. Um, I've sort of been sick, which is why I haven't been able to do any other videos since I put my last one up. Um, I'm on the mend, I think, but um, I mean, I'm talking, so that's better than I was two days ago where I lost my voice. Um, and I'm, I'm certainly looking better than the guy in the box in front of you, so <laughs> I've, got to, I've got to find the positives. But, um, you know, this this just made my day today. Um, you know, I've, I've only been to work for half a day this week, and I just I went to work yesterday morning and, um, yeah, couldn't do it, so I went home. And, yeah, I've decided to take the rest of the week off, so... Um, just to try and get better and I don't want anyone at work catching my cold so um, this one arrived today uh, I got this from robotkingdom.com they're from Hong Kong um, this actually got from Hong Kong to here in South Australia in about five or six days which is incredible um, I've bought stuff no I, this is the first thing I've bought from Robot Kingdom I've bought stuff from another Hong Kong seller which which means if it's as good as this, it'll be here next week. So, um, yeah, I decided to give this seller a go because they were this uh, Robot Kingdom. Um, they were offering this one up for pre-order, and it was being released um, pretty much in line with all the um, retail release dates. Um, it's GameStop exclusive in the US, and I believe EB Games in Canada. Um, just have to excuse me. I'm gonna to have to talk a little bit slower just so I um, don't lose my breath because I'm a bit. It's it's hard at the moment, but um, we'll see how this goes. Um, so yeah, this arrived today, and yeah, it it made my day because I just yeah just been exhausted. So I wanted to try and do a little video just of an unboxing and a, a little review as I get my first impressions of this thing. Um, seen a lot of great toy photography of this figure already through Instagram. And um, if you're on Instagram, go and follow Star Wars The Black Series. Um, Aussie, Aussie dude, I was on um, Boring Conversation with him and Fly Guy a couple of months ago. Um, he's just doing an extremely amazing service to, with that account to the um, collector community and uh, toy photographers alike. It's uh, awesome stuff. So without further ado, we'll just another quick look at the box piece of artwork down the bottom looks good really nicely displayed um, we are getting this this figure pack, packed singularly soon um, in the next cup within the next couple of waves but uh, I had to have the throne I'm a first order nut so I uh, still to foam up so I needed the throne for my display so there's that awesome picture on the back a bit of a paragraph there you can read if you'd like to pause it so I've uh, got my scissors here. I'm just going to cut the tape down the side there. And we'll slide this bad boy out. So we've got a few ties here. Cable ties, a bit of plastic. Um, nice cardboard display in the background there that looks cool. So what I'll do is I'll just snip these ties carefully. Alright, let's see how we get this thing off. There's another tie down the side there. That should release everywhere. Remember when they stopped using these things? <laughs> More ties down the bottom there under his feet. I know you can't see it on camera at the second but hopefully we can get his get his thrown out. A little plastic ties stuck all over it. All the cracks and all right, I think we're good. All right, so this little piece here obviously just plugs into the front. And then we have the throne. It's a cool looking piece. Um, kind of wish they did this with the uh, with the Emperor. I'm sure they'll go back to it because um, that'd be phenomenal to get the Emperor's throne in a, in a scene similar to this in a, bo in a box set. 
to the back of the throne. Pretty, pretty simple plastic there. No real detail, extra detail in paintwork, but that's okay. It's going to be facing the back of the shelf anyway. Um, yeah, this is going to be the centerpiece of my first order black series um, shelf. And uh, yeah, hopefully the have the Praetorian Guard sort of flanking him there. Right, let's have a look at the figure. Can get that plastic off of him. Just at the side. This is a pretty snazzy looking robe. Um, there's been some funny pictures online about his uh, about his nano slippers. <laughs> They're fantastic. That's hilarious. Very ornate shoes. You know, he's uh he's not a poor person. He's obviously quite wealthy. But yeah, never would have thought from watching The Force Awakens that he'd uh he'd be wearing a gold gold robe. But I don't know. I think it I think it gives a lot to his character. Um, there's obviously a lot of wealth there. Um, someone needs a lot of wealth to be able to fund the first order. And uh, yeah, just on the first, I'm having a little bit of trouble getting him to stand up, but you know, I'll get him eventually. Eventually, we'll just sit down. But um, yeah, this is this is cool. Apparently, the uh, robe you can slip this belt off and have the robe pulled back. But um, apparently, the collar's sort of glued around the. You can sort of see there's a plastic plastic collar up around there it's apparently it's glued to that which is fine um, I don't need to take it off but uh, he's got a ring which apparently is a crystal um, that's what I've been reading anyway whether it's a kyber crystal or you know like the dark saber crystal or something that would be cool to tie that in but um, he's a cool looking figure guys like this is Nice long gangly fingers. His face is... And my lighting's a little harsh, but... Have a look at that. It is fantastic. I really like this one. He is disgusting. <laughs> and all sorts of cool. I'm, I'm digging it. I'm digging this figure, guys. I really am. Um, can't wait to get him sitting in this throne. I'm not going to try it now, but um, yeah, I like it. Look, his belt that looks nice. This gold plastic belt, which you know, he's just wearing like a white jumpsuit, like he's just got out of bed. He's had his coffee. He's slipped on his dressing gown. And he's off to work. Or we'll off to make people do who work for him. Bring me my coffee. That was more Palpatine than Snoke, but my voice is a little croaky at the moment, so it works. <laughs> I'm impressed. I like it. I'm really keen. I can't wait to go and um, this will give me a b little bit of time to uh, mess around with my first order shelf and and really really set up a cool display with my you know because I've got over 20 different troopers now and I've got I think I've got 13 stormtroopers four tie pilots and eight or nine snow troopers two flame troopers I've got the right control stormtrooper I've got the executioner and then there's a couple of Kylo Ren's Hux Phasma and now Snoke yes <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this guys this is a bit of fun um, just to get my very first impressions on taking this out of the box. You normally I like to mess around with my figures and get to know them a little bit before I jump on and talk about them. But yeah, just wanted to get my first impressions of this guy up. Um, he's fantastic. I can't wait to just sort of sit back and mess around with this guy a little bit. The soft goods are quite well done too. I'm glad that sort of glittery look isn't it's not like stuck on glitter that's going to fall off it's actually in the fabric so it's like the uh there is some close thread in it 
like it's part of the material. So they've sort of cross cross throat it with a uh, I don't know what I don't know what the term is. I'm not a I'm not a uh, seamstress or anything, so I don't or a seamster. I don't know. I don't get it, but it's cool. It looks good. There he is in his throne. You can see up his gown there, but he's wearing pants, so it's okay. All right, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, hopefully, I can nut out a few more videos over the next couple of days. Um, it'd be great. I've got. I've got some plans. I've got, um, I did record a video last week, but it's um, a little bit out of date now, so I'm not going to put that one up. Um, got my 2000 subscriber contest video. I've got to record too, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to set that up and get that going. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get over this, get over this cold a little bit. So anyway, guys, thank you again, and I'll see you on the next video.